Meghan Markle and Prince Harry deciding to remain in California during the Platinum Jubilee celebrations would have left everybody mortified, according to a leading biographer. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex announced in early May they were traveling across the pond to join the Queen in her celebrations for the historic Platinum Jubilee. Royal biographer Andrew Morton claimed Meghan and Harry's absence from England during the long bank holiday weekend dedicated to the Queen would have had a negative impact on people. The author of the newly released biography The Queen told Express.co.uk, with the Queen as head of state, the Jubilee is both a family and state event. The Sussexes are attending the family events. Is it an olive branch? Yes, I think everybody would have been mortified if they had stayed in California. Mr. Morton added this would have been the case in particular because the Duke of Sussex had paid a visit to the Queen in April. He added, especially as Harry had made a flying visit to see the Queen to Holland on his way to the Invictus Games. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex stopped at Windsor Castle on their way to The Hague for the Invictus Games. Sitting down for an interview with U.S. journalist Hoda Kotb a few days after his brief trip to the U.K., the Duke candidly said he was not yet sure whether he would attend the Jubilee celebrations in person. Asked if he thought he would travel to Britain in June, he said, I don't know yet. There's lots of things with security issues and everything else. So, this is what I'm trying to do, trying to make it possible that I can get my kids to meet her. In September last year, Harry sought a judicial review of the Home Office's decision not to let him pay for his family's police protection when they are in the UK. Following his latest visit to the Queen, it was reported Harry was fairly pleased with how the hybrid security operation put in place for him and Meghan had worked, raising hopes the Sussexes would be able to travel once again to the UK without any security concern. A few days later, a spokesperson for the Sussexes said, Prince Harry and Meghan, the Duke and Duchess of Sus are excited and honored to attend the Queen's Platinum Jubilee celebrations this June with their children. Meghan Markle do come back, then they should be quiet about it. It would do good for their reputation with the British public. He explained, but I do still say that if they could come back and if they could not be front and center, keep it quiet but just come back to help celebrate not just for the Queen but for the whole country then that will probably be very nice and it might rehabilitate them somewhat towards the British people. However, the journalist thinks that it is unlikely that the Duke and Duchess of Sussex will do things discreetly given what happened with their Oprah interview. He added. I don't really think that's their style anymore. They don't like to do things quietly, they don't like someone else to be the center of attention when they're around and I think that where Harry and Meghan go, it's the Harry and Meghan show. On the other hand, royal expert Brian Hoey advised Prince Harry not to attend the Platinum Jubilee celebrations. His presence alone would reportedly only steal the limelight away from Queen Elizabeth II and worse if Meghan Markle tags along.